G'day guys, welcome, welcome to another grocery adventure. I hope you enjoyed my last video of the St. John's Catholic Cemetery in Kapunda. And I have bought my favorite snacks to check out this cemetery, which I find is the most haunted cemetery of all. This one always gives you a feeling that you are being watched you are being followed. So I bought Julie from on Earthly Wanderings here to investigate, to see if she gets the same feeling I do. But every time I'm here, guys, I get the feeling that I'm being followed and being watched. So come on, guys, let's start this investigation in the Kapunda Public Cemetery. Oh. <laughs> Hello to all my friendly spirits here my name is Jackie I mean no disrespect please don't steal my bacon bites they are mine uh, when I leave here you cannot harm me you cannot attach yourself to me you got to stay here you have to remember that once I leave you cannot follow you have to stay in your resting place you cannot attach yourself to myself or to the other investigator Julie or any of the people here. So let's just walk around and see what's happening in this cemetery. I find this one really creepy, guys. I hate this cemetery. I find it more creepier. Are there any spirits who want to speak? Come up and say hello. Come up and touch this device. Don't steal my bacon bites. They're mine. They're my bacon bites. Don't take my bacon bites. Is there anyone who wishes to speak? At least this cemetery is not cold here. Come up and touch the great device. Make it light up. I've got another device, which I'll turn on later, guys. It's called an S-Box. It just gives you a voice. It just allows me to hear you. It does not hurt you. Now we'll see how Julie goes in here, guys. Now we'll turn the S-Box on. Are there any spirits here? Any spirits who wants to communicate? My name's Jackie. Alexander Thomas. He died in 1867. And Mary Ann. He died in 1876. They come on... They came to Port Adelaide, guys, on the 7th of November. 1849, aboard the ship Constance, they were the natives of Cornwall. Alexander Thomas, what boat did you come, what ship did you come to Australia on? What was the name of your boat, the ship? Can you tell me the name of your ship? Any spirits here? This, this place always gives you the feeling you're being followed. Always. Thomas Terrell, 1871. Sarah. Eighteen eighty two. Are there any spirits? And it feels like you've been look, I'm being I reckon I'm being oh no. See I don't like this because I always have that feeling. Hello? This cemetery always gives me a feeling I'm being followed guys. Always. I don't like this cemetery. Never have done. Hello?
Richard Reed, the second son of James Roberts. He died 18, excuse me, 1866. And James Charles, the eldest son of the above, died in 1867. He was 22. Richard or James, are you here? Anyone here? Will it work better if I have the aerial up? And now it's gone funny. Oh, why has the S-Box gone funny? Hello. Oh, the S box has gone freaking weird, guys. Hello. My name's Jackie. Hello. Any of the Shannon family here? James Shannon. This is pretty. This is always pretty. A little bit of iron on it. This always gives you a feeling you're being watched in the cemetery, guys. Always. Do you know my name? Can you tell me what colour T-shirt I'm wearing? What colour shirt? Do you know the other person's name that's with me? Her name is Julie. Go over to her and say hello. Sarah Shannon. Abraham. Sarah died in 1860 and Abraham died in 1860. He was one year and 17 days old. David Shannon. Martha. Abraham. Look at there. Look at that. Look at that. William. Melville. Another William. Look at that tall ass, look. Honora, where are you? I heard Honora come through. Now, I don't need the S-Box um, aerial up here, guys. James Harden. Mary Harden. James... Uh, Amelia died in 1858. She was 10 weeks old or 19 weeks old. Mary was 25. Another Me Amelia, 1860, 12 days. Jesse, Mabel. Yeah, baby. 1872. Clara, 1875. Oh, she had a lot of babies. Infant deaths. This place always gives you a feeling 
I'm going to turn the S box off, guys. I'm turning the S box off for now. Turn that off. And see if we catch anything. Can you speak to me? Richard Rowett, 1867, Victoria, 18 weeks old. Oh, how sad. And that could be R D T Hooper, someone Hooper. 18, six, 1871 is another Robert. 1881 and William. 1881, Mary Ann. What if they all died? Oh, they didn't die that far apart. Part. And it just gives you, you just feel like you're being followed in here, guys. It really does. You just get that sense. You do, you get that sense of being followed and you're being watched in this cemetery. I don't know what it is. I feel it more in this cemetery than I do any other cemeteries in Kapunda, but you feel like you're being followed or you're being watched. William Banks, 1878. Catherine, 1882. Is there anyone who wishes to come up and say hello? This is it here. This is the vast of it. The cemetery. This is the older section. Bertha Veltus. May you rest in peace. Samuel. May you rest in peace. Renee Rule. May you rest in peace. Catherine, 1870. Mary and Henry died in infancy. I'll be back in a minute. I think I left my lights on. I thought I left my lights on in the car. Sorry, guys, I just had to check. <laughs> it's the kids, Julie's kids are in the car. But yeah, this place, you always feel like you're being watched or you're being followed. Julie's at the Shannon. Shannon one there. Oops, excuse me. Here we got here. Richard Reed. Oh, didn't I do them, didn't I? Yep, Richard Reed. Yep, I did them. It's Thomas. Any spirits who want to speak? 
Oh, look. Look, Kimmy. Look, Noni May's not all that crash shot, but there's one there. Not crash shot. And this is for Laura. Laura Chin. Died in 1891. And I just saw something there. I just saw something near Henry's. Henry Pym. Pyman. I just saw something duck behind there. I hope it was a bird. I honestly did. I'm not lying. I got a... Go and have a look. I reckon it might have been a bird. I saw it down here. And there's no birds there. Oh, look. Bella. Della Pasco. See what Julie's getting. Thank you. Getting anything? No. Nothing here. I feel like I'm being followed. Do you? Yeah. I don't like this cemetery. Always makes me feel like I'm being followed in here. Yeah, the Shannon one, yeah. No, I'm not really getting anything in here. You didn't come across a headstone that had Kidman on it, did you? There is a Kidman in here. Yeah, I know. Uh, I read the thing at the front. And his children are ah. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming for a walk around the Kapunda Cemetery. Um, I'm about to leave now and take unearthly wandering Julie back home so thank you for watching and they didn't steal my bacon brooch so till next time guys somewhere in South Australia it's some other creepy climatory with no Mr. Snakeys want you all to be safe and always be careful when you're out exploring so until next time guys I'll catch you later bye